Brooks vs. Sir. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarasa. If you're new here, today it is Sunday. Sunday, February 11th to be precise. We're gonna do a little reset. A day in my life with me. I've been waiting for this day because I just feel like I need a little refresh in my space, in my home, myself. Like, we're gonna do an everything shower. Of course, hit the gym. These are just like the fundamentals. But we're also gonna clean my makeup brushes. We're gonna wipe down the surfaces in my bedroom. Wipe down the mirrors because they're getting a little disgusting. I'm gonna see where the day takes us, but I'm gonna take you guys along because I love watching these and they motivate me. I wanted to make one too and hopefully inspire you guys or, you know, at least entertain you. Like, I don't know. Start off this beautiful reset Sunday. It's a little healthy breakfast. Nutritional but filling and delicious. Look how colorful it is. Um, if you can tell. Are we surprised? It's my Cholula. A nice little breakfast to get my day going because we're gonna go to the gym right after. So I'm gonna eat and then we're gonna go work out. <laughs> get this day in motion. Let's go. I'm gonna put our headphones on. Yes, yes. God, it's its own sport to get your hair up. Okay, hair is gelled. Best flavor that there is. Strawberry lemonade. Gym. We ate lunch. I edited for a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and get into the deep cleaning segment of today. and clean and honestly it smells great in here it feels fresh and clean I'm so glad i did that let's see what's next out i need this all right now we gotta do some homework switching to time lapse camera now blinding me okay so my sheets have been washed i'm pretty sure they're done now actually i've done most of my homework not all of it though and now we're gonna do our little pre-wash treatment before we hop in the shower in about an hour or two so i'm gonna take you guys through a brief rundown of what it is i've already kind of talked about this a little bit in i think the last video i posted but i'm just gonna give you guys it again especially if you didn't watch it you're not gonna know so here's what you have to do first off we start off with five minutes of bamboo brushing just to get that stimulation going and this is really good for hair growth so five minutes on the timer i like to watch videos while i do this otherwise i'm gonna just get really really bored i'm gonna throw on some youtube mm. 
Next up, we're doing scalp massage with an oil. This is rosemary oil. I'm sure you guys have heard about this one in specific. It's Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. It's really good for hair growth. Everybody raves about it. I've been using it for a little bit now. I'm gonna go ahead and just drop it down in little sections along my scalp. And then I'm gonna take a little scalp massager. You can also use your hands. They work just as well. And we're gonna do this for about three to five minutes. I'll probably just end up doing two or three. We've treated our scalp with oil. We're now gonna treat our mids to ends with oil. I'm gonna go in with argan oil. I love this stuff. You can get it anywhere. Mine's from Cherry Joe's. Do about one pump in each strand on each side. I have like really little hair. Um, run that through. Now you can stop there because that's the hair oiling part or you can do what I do and go in with a few masks. On my scalp, this stuff smells so good. It's a little bit on the pricier side and so is the next mask I'm gonna show you, but honestly really good investment. If you wanna take my word for it, do as you will. This is the Orbe Gold Lust Transformative Mask. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my scalp. Forget to do like back here too, so don't neglect that part because it's still here back there, okay? And then I love this stuff. I'm honestly not using it the correct way. This is the Amica Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. It's basically like a leave-in hair mask that you, you know, put in your hair overnight. But I use it as a pre-wash hair treatment that I do eventually rinse out, but that's okay because I think it works wonders. This mids and ends. It smells so good, you guys. Our hair is treated. We're gonna go ahead and secure that with a claw clip. When you're doing your hair oiling routine, don't do anything super tight on your head. Just do like a loose securing style. Okay. We're gonna let that sit in for about one to two hours and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and do my normal wash routine. <laughs> I look like an egg still, but not for much longer because we're gonna get in the shower now. But I'm gonna give you guys a rundown of all the products that I use because why not? Everybody loves a good everything shower. At least I would hope so. I have quite an extensive process. I feel like my routine has only gotten longer, but <clears throat> it's an everything shower. This doesn't happen every night. One night a week it does. It's crazy. Not that crazy, whatever. And l let's get into it, shall we? Okay. Sometimes I also forget steps because there's a lot. Okay, yes. First is to dry brush your entire body. So I used to do this after a shower, but most people say do it before. So now I do it before, but basically dry brush your body just like this. Just upward motions all over your body and it kind of like exfoliates and gets rid of dead dry skin. And also it's really good for circulation. It feels so good. It's like a little mini massage before you go shower. So I do that and I just do my whole body. Then, then, then we're gonna go in with purifying shampoo. I don't do this all the time. You're not supposed to, but at least once a month, it's really good to do so it gets all that extra gunk out of your hair like when there's too much product buildup this is amazing and for normal shampoo i used still use the Lanza Keratin Healing Oil Shampoo. I'm almost out of it though. Double shampoo. And I use the little scalp massager from earlier to really massage that in. Then you rinse that out, okay? Then you brush your hair out, squeeze all the excess water, and you go in with a matching conditioner. Sorry, that was really aggressive. I don't know what's going on. I'm just a little tense. Um, and you put that up back in a claw clip while you do the rest of your routine. And that entails body scrub. This is the Tree Hut Tropic Glow Firming Sugar Scrub. Smells amazing. And then this is my razor that I use. It's amazing. You don't have to use shaving cream and I barely get razor cuts anymore. Razor burn. Razor bumps. Because of this. Get yourself one of these. Your life will be changed forever. Thank you. Then, I'm like doing a whole, whew, I go in with a Dove Bar to clean my body first. This is the sensitive skin one. They have like scented ones, unscented ones, but I love so it. So really good for your Dove Beauty Bar. And I put it in one of these things. This is like a bar soap preserver. Also, it's kind of like a mini loofah. So instead of having it slip out of your hand all the time, you have it in this and then it lathers up and you can just wash yourself nicely. So I go in with that. I go in with my body wash. This is the Dove Anti-Stress Blue Chamomile and Oat Milk. I really like the smell of it. And you either go in with a loofah or I have one of these like silicone scrub thingies. It depends on my mood. I don't know why 
I have two, but I do. And honestly, I've been really preferring the silicone, the silicone one. So that's my whole, whew, I'm out of breath just talking about it. Now I have to go do it all. That is my everything shower routine. And then of course, rinse out the conditioner with cold water at the very end. Before I even pat dry with the towel, I go in with the Osea body oil. So good, it makes your skin so baby soft. You can just get like a simple baby oil and your skin will be scrumptious. After you dry down, you go ahead and apply body lotion. And also, another tip for you all. After you shave, go in with some sort of like solution. This is the 10 skin solution that helps a lot with ingrown hairs and razor bones. When I don't do this, I will go in with the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. I just started using it, but people say that it helps kind of like darker areas, like your armpits, your knees, like I don't, I don't know. But I sometimes will also go in with this. Like, Oh my God, that was a mouthful. So let's go. Go actually do it all. This is a Olympic sport. My girls now. I'm about to be so exhausted. But let's go. Before crusty. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. And after. Feels good. Now I'm ready for bed. Well, not quite after I do my hair. <laughs> 